this is Susan Shanford, Coach's Corner. Skip Holtz is in his first year at South Florida and is the son of Hall of Fame head coach Lou Holtz. When Skip first got the coaching bug, Lou made a list of six to eight coaches in which he thought that would help Skip. Now, this list included coaches such as Tom Osborne and Joe Paterno. Skip instead decided to take a job with Bobby Bowden after Bowden said, if you can be here in two days, you've got a job at Florida State. And the rest is history. Obviously, I've been very fortunate to grow up around this great game and the childhood memories when Dad was coaching the Jets and him taking me to Jack in the Box, uh, Joe Namath taking me to Jack in the Box for lunch and to be around the, the great role models that I've had and to have the opportunity to be around them and not just the guys you have your posters on your wall, but you know them personally. Just great experiences for me and then playing this game uh, and when it came time to say you're about to graduate from school, what are you going to do? And this wasn't a thing. I didn't want to leave this game. And I was very fortunate that Bobby Bowden gave me an opportunity to be a graduate assistant there at Florida State and to go down there. And the day I got there, I knew this was what it, this is. It, this was it. I mean, I'm, I would love to stay. And the opportunity presented itself. And I got a chance to work with Earl Bruce out at Colorado State and then moved from there to Lou Holtz. So I've had three pretty good mentors when you talk about Bobby Bowden, Lou Holtz, and Earl Bruce. There are some great lessons that I learned. Um, but I think you've got to sit down and you've got to evaluate what your team needs. Uh, I don't think you can take a canned speech from any one of those three and present it to your team. It might, might have been they were on a winning streak, you're on a losing streak. I mean, you've got to sit down and look at what does your team need. And the bigger, the bigger lessons that I learned from them were more how to be a head coach than it was to take and try and simulate just what they did in those situations. So you've got to coach your personality. Uh, but as I said, I've also been extremely blessed to be not not only around some great coaches, but I've been around and had the opportunity to be around some great athletic directors too that have given me the freedom to turn and be able to be myself and to coach with my personality. I uh, couldn't be more excited to have the opportunity to be back here in the Big East. When I look at the names around the room, you know, when you're looking at those banners around the room and seeing the parity in this league, I think it's a great league and I'm really looking forward to being part of it.